Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at uh, a feature, one interesting feature called uh, dynamic forms in uh, Scriptana for Jira. In one of uh, the video, we talked about uh, adding a user to a group. Now, the script that I used is this one that you can see here on the screen. And the script is basically doing a very simple thing. The method that we are trying to use here is called add user to group. And this method has two parameters. The first parameter is a user to add. And the second parameter is a group name. Now, both of these parameters are of course uh, objects but we are getting the object it could be any it can it can be uh, maybe object of user or maybe object of group but we are actually using uh, methods like get user by name or get group uh, where we are as asking the user to enter the username or the group name now this this is all good this script will of course work. We have done all the checks. Usually when you're working with script enough for Jira, you might be sharing this script with other users. You will be asking other users to take a look at the script, modify the variables and uh, run it. And if, they, if the users are familiar with Groovy, they are comfortable looking at the code they can of course modify this uh, variable here. They can change it to maybe user three and uh, something else. And it is fine, but it may not be the case for every user. Not everyone is comfortable looking at the code, modifying the code, although it's a very simple change. You can of course add a comment on top, modify these variables, but still it is a code. And if you miss a quote or if you add a, maybe some additional character, the script will fail, it might not even work. So there is a way to overcome this uh, problem. It is not really a problem, but I think it will make the usage of these uh, scripts a bit easier when you have to share the scripts. Uh, and of course, uh, there is also one more advantage, you don't even need to share the whole script, the scripts can be shared in uh, the on the server maybe and uh, you can ask the users to simply type in the script name when they go to the file tab so let me show you what i mean so if you look at this particular piece of code we are using one annotation so there is a feature in a script you know, where you can basically convert your variables not all the variables but a lot of variables uh, like user for example, or maybe a project. And instead of asking users to modify the variable in the code, they can select the username from the UI. So let me show you how it works. So if you look at this particular piece of code here, we are just, just using this at user picker. <clears throat> we are defining this uh, fields or this uh, user pickers name like select user and we can also add a description here add user to group now we can combine this part with the script that we wrote earlier where the user will not have to modify the variable so first let us take a look at the script how it works so if i go to my script um, my script console and by the way if you want to learn more about how dynamic forms work do take a look at this link just do a quick Google search, script enough for Jira dynamic forms, and you can find uh, you know a lot of information about uh, you know what I'm talking about. But I of course want to show you how it works today. So if I go to the script console, all I'm doing is I am simply referring the code, simple code with only few lines, four or five lines. And the moment you refer to this particular, the, the moment you select the script, a field on top will appear called uh, select user. Now this select user is uh, right now, of course, uh, all the users in your uh, 
Jira instance. Uh, but the good thing is that now this user can be used in the script. Now, instead of this file, selecting a file, I can also type in the whole code here. So let us say I want the users to do the same thing. They, they can, of course, modify this, uh, this particular uh, piece of code. And uh, they can, of course, uh, do this, do, do the same thing. But the whole point here is that uh, you don't even need, need to look at the code to have the capabilities of selecting a user. Although I'm just doing it right now just to show you how it will work. And I'm, of course, using this particular code where I'm trying to add a user to a group. And I, I can run it. I can modify this. Let us say I want to add a user to, to this group called uh, Jira service desk users and it says user 2 is already in the group which is fine we, we don't really worry about the outcome of the group or outcome of the script uh, but I will still uh, go to the user management and I will remove it uh, you remove user 2 from the Jira service desk group and I will run the same code but with the the picker so let me remove the group from this I think I should also write a code to remove a user from a group. I'm not. I, I don't even remember if I did. If I have a code for this, a code for doing this. Uh, if not, I should probably write it. So user is not part of the group now, and we'll do it from the the script. So let me take these two lines. I'll just copy this piece of code, and I will add it on top. So the moment I paste it, you will see a new field that will appear on top immediately. Now we have a way to select a user and then this user can be passed to the script. Now the variable is the user. We can also change it to maybe username here and maybe get rid of the variable that we declared earlier. And this will be the user object. So. I will simply say user to add. So let us see how it how it works. So I may also want to change few things here. I believe in the code. So there is something called as uh, get groups for user and. Uh, I can just, you know, because right now we are using username and we have the username. So maybe what we can do is we can use a user to add dot. I believe uh, we can use name, something like this, I, I guess. I hope it works. And if I now run this piece of code, let us see what happens. Let us see if we are able to add user to or any user that we select, not really user 2, in this group. So let us first do this for maybe user, root user, root uh, something user. And if I run this piece of code, you get this uh, message here. I hope uh, you can see it. User, uh, like user root test is already part in the, is already part of this group. But I will do it for user 2. So you can do that and if I run this, you will get this message, user to add it to the group and if I go to my uh, user management list of users, I hopefully will have uh, this new group added to this user too. So as you can see here is that uh, although we are looking at the code, but uh, if I want, I can copy the whole code and I will uh, or maybe not. L let me show you something interesting. So if I copy this whole piece of code and if I remove it, I can also go to something called as a script uh, editor and I can maybe add a script here. So maybe you want to add a script like uh, add user to group dot groovy of course. And if you add it, the script will actually be saved on the server um, in the script root. And the best part is so it says uh, your script is ready to use, which is nice. Dismiss, you go back to the console, 
Now if you type here add user to group, let me just che check the name of the name of the uh, file. So I'll probably name it as something else because I already have one script with the same name. So maybe I want to rename it version 2. I'll just have a different name. Saved. Hopefully it is saved now. Console add user to a group. So this is fine but not this one, the other one, version 2. Now the moment you select this script, what will happen? The code will not appear at all. But you can still select the user like user2. You can uh, click on the run button. It will do something hopefully that user2 is already in the group. Let me remove it or maybe let us add uh, someone else. Maybe let us add uh, or let us just remove this user. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do it again. So let us remove re uh, user2 and uh, if I go back to the list of users we don't really have uh, service Jira service desk users and uh, you can do it again by selecting selecting the user, user2 and if I run it, user2 added to a group. Now I'll of course validate it one more time just to be 100% sure that the script is working. Now the, the best part of this uh, feature is dynamic forms is that you are actually not even exposing your script at all. You can save the script in the script editor using the script editor. You can manage the script here. Of course someone with the admin rights will be able to still modify it but not everyone, not every Jira admin may be comfortable you know looking at the code, managing the code uh, but you can make your code very 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 user friendly and uh, of course, it's a simple example of user, but if you look at uh, the page here, you can learn about, you know, what all different types of fields you can uh, use. Like you can have a user picker, field picker, short text, select list, checkbox and project picker, which is, I think, a good start. We have a lot of uh, these, uh, uh, we, we already, you know, you write code for doing these things like select a project and uh, maybe asking user to maybe select a value from a select list so you can have your own fields that you can display here like this using the dynamic form feature. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.